There's so many do's and don'ts in this kombucha brewing process. And this is a video to tell you all of those so that you don't make the mistake, okay? So I'll tell you all of them step by step in just a second. What it means when you have too much honey is just that the yeast will also be increased. So the more sugar there is, the more yeast there is. So you just have to find a fine balance between the yeast and the honey. So it eats honey and then it digests it. But then if there's excess honey, then it creates yeast. What happens if it's too yeasty? Um, it just gets really cloudy. It does affect the taste a little bit. It's not too serious. It's just, you know, you're just wasting honey, basically. This stuff inside is doesn't matter. This is all just residue from the scoby. If you don't like the way it looks, you can always go in and just take it out with a chopsticks or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it doesn't matter. That's all just like yeast little like uh, residue. It's really effective for kids as well, but I only give them like a shot. So I use a shot glass and just give them a shot and they hold it and they like it a lot. They really like the sour taste. And, um, and I make kombucha fruit roll-ups with it. So these are jerkies. So when are we going to use the scoby? Again, ever again. Oh. I mean by taking it out, when we um, want to give when people? When it gets too much and when you want to give people, when you want to do other things with it. Ah. But right now you don't need to, because right now it's very thin. No, I understand. It will take some months before it gets to, to get that. It? Yeah. Or um, you can always like when this is done or like when you go home you can always take one layer off and just keep one scoby just as your backup scoby i either put it in the fridge or i keep adding you harvest tea. harvest it okay, and harvest put it in the fridge yeah okay so pour it out of this thing as long as the scoby is in there it will be like much faster than if the scoby is not but if the scoby is not in there it will like this one does not have a scoby but it still continue harvest uh still continue fermenting on its own oh. because the bacteria is still inside mm. it just mm -hmm. isn't in a form a solid form it's a liquid form harvest means take out the whole thing um or just everything but the starter liquid and the scoby so the starter liquid and the scoby will always stay in the jar no matter what so like three years from now the starter liquid and the jar will still be there the starter liquid on the scoby. Maybe the scoby you can have smaller scoby because you've taken out some. But like harvest just means pour out all the liquid. So when you're pouring stuff out, you want to put a funnel onto a bottle. So basically what I do is I put I put this cap on this thing and then I pour it out from that into a funnel into a bottle. And then I pour when I harvest I pour it all the way up to here. And then this is either fruit, like cold pressed mm. fruit juice, or hibiscus sweet tea. And then that way, the whole thing will turn into something different. So pull out the liquid? Yeah, exactly. Well, except, except for this it, part. Yeah, just and leave it. Scoby. Yeah, mm -hmm. leave the rest of it in there because that's like the, you need that to start. If you don't harvest, then mm -hmm. you, then you, you get thick and thick and Oh, no. Yeah, but then it'll be very, very sour as well. Because oh, if it doesn't have any honey left, then it's just going to turn vinegary. Mm -hmm. And so if you've gone for like two, three weeks, then it'll be very, very vinegary. So before you leave, you just want to make sure it's extra sweet tea. Then it has more, more to eat for the whole time. So the third thing, the last thing I wanted to share is mold. So take a look at this page. You, all of you have this page in your packet. But basically, if you start seeing things that look like mold, you can you can try to recognize like what that is. And the only way it's gonna happen is if you have a mold particle fall into your thing, and then it will have like a spore. Then it will grow mold. So if you keep it airtight, then and you keep it all the way, you know, you keep it like contained, then no spores will fly into it. But at, like with the fabric. With the fabric, yeah. yeah. So not airtight, but like sealed. Sealed, yeah. Yeah, sealed. Okay. And then the second thing is bugs. Bugs like to climb, so like you'll always see flies here. So if you want to have a fly trap at home, you just put a cup of kombucha out like that and all the flies will go there. So if you see a fly and it goes in there, then the whole thing is ruined because they'll have maggots and then it'll be very difficult to find all the maggots out. So you just have to restart the whole thing. And mold? Mold as well. Because mold spores, they go much deeper than what the naked eye can see. So I would just recommend just switching it completely. Right. So, but um, if it has mold, then we can't use it anymore, right? No, you just have to get another scoby. Then I have to call you. Yeah, yeah, just call okay. me for another scoby. But usually this doesn't happen if you attend to it like weekly. Mm. If it's only when, it only happens like when you start like neglecting it like maybe like two or three weeks at a time and you just like stop caring about it and then that's when all this kind of stuff happens because you know you don't know when it's open or like when it's not 
so not too bad. And you could just put it in the fridge if you're going away. You could, but I would just recommend just leaving it out and just making a really sweet tea. Okay. Just because then that way it doesn't interfere with it. It's like, it doesn't shock it. Right. Because whenever you put it in the fridge, it shocks the whole system yeah. and you have to unshock it when it comes out. Yeah. So it gets a little traumatic for it. Go in and out. Not too bad, you know, but just uh, it just takes a while for it to get back into its full activated stage. What if you go for a month? It was like five weeks and the kombucha actually came out like really, really intense, really, really sour. So what I did was like I put maybe like this much original and this much second fermentation. So then all the sweet stuff in right. the kombucha would mix together and it would mm. still come out great. Mm. People loved it because the flavor mm. was so developed, but I just wasn't able to do that much original liquid because it was too mm. sour. Um, so I had to do a lot more second fermentation work. I just did it yesterday. So it's slightly different flavor, but I was trying to train it. That's also hibiscus? Yeah, this is also hibiscus, Rosella.